Hi, um, my name's Janine Kusaya. I'm Leo's mom, and Mrs. Brown asked me to um, share a little bit about some of the things that we did um, before getting serious with So Happy to Learn that um, probably set the stage for Leo having the, the quick success that um, he's having. So I first um, heard about Mrs. Brown, like probably when Leo was about a year and a half, it was on a Zoom um, call. We live in the San Francisco Bay Area, so not like super close to Mrs. Brown. And I think it was our local Down syndrome group hosted like a Zoom and she explained about So Happy to Learn. And one of the things that I remember stuck out to me was the focus routine. Um, and she explained how she kind of sets the stage for learning uh, using the focus spray and then doing uh, like sort of like the um, passing back and forth of either a pretend ball or using the focus rock, something like that. Um, so my son who has Down syndrome has a fraternal twin sister who doesn't have any developmental delays. So a lot of the things they do, they do together. Um, and I started incorporating that focus routine when they were very small. I was doing uh, flashcards and just doing things where I wanted them to like pay attention and know that this was a little different than playtime or free time and kind of get them ready to know it was time to sit and pay attention. Well, they both ate it up and I wouldn't sit them in um, like a high chair. We had kind of like our rocking chair that was in in my son's bedroom and it was big enough that they could sit in it next to each other. So I would have them, I would say, okay, are you guys ready for learning time? Or do you want to do a learning game? I always made it really upbeat and positive and something fun. And they loved it. I think a big part of it when they were super tiny was because they were getting my one-on-one -on -one attention, which every kid likes. So as soon as I would say, okay, would you guys like to do learning, learning time? And they would crawl up into the chair and then turn around. And then I would take, um, so Mrs. Brown, I, now I have her focus spray, but I just, I don't know if this is a healthy option or not, but I used, um, it was like a lemon spearmint room spray from Trader Joe's and it smelled really good. And so I would spray it in the air and it, you know, it was kind of like a pretty nice scent. And then we got, take a deep breath in and say, I am focused. And like when they were super little, I didn't do even maybe say I am focused, but they just loved that spray and knew it was time to pay attention. So super simple. That's about as far as I went with the so happy to learn part of it, but, um, you know, just really setting the stage for learning. And we did that like a couple times a week. And since then they've always responded really well to, um, either saying, do you want to have learning time? Now we say, do you want to do so happy to learn time? And they kind of know it's their time to go and get mom's one-on-one -on -one attention. Um, so now I feel like Leo's at the point, I don't think he would really sit still on a yoga mat or a rug. So I have him strapped into his high chair without the tray and I put him right up to the table. Um, and then we do the focus routine. So it's like, we're building on that thing that we did early on. And, um, then, you know, I basically, I met Mrs. Brown in person at Dear Mom last year, which was 2023. And I was looking at my receipts. I signed up for um, So Happy to Learn in May and my son turned three in August. And between May and basically the end of 2023, so several months, I like had intentions of getting started and getting serious with So Happy to Learn. But really as far as I got was printing off the beginner series of books. So I, I found a different printer had them coil bound and then we just had them in a rotation, but I didn't feel like I really understood exactly how to do everything. So I just, because of Leo's young age and kind of what I felt like he would be receptive to, I would just sit him on my lap and like any other book, we would just read and I would point through the words. So I, it was just my feeling for him. He wasn't quite ready for the pointer or something super formal. He might've been, but that's what we did while I was getting more up to this, up to speed. So Mrs. Brown has, um, I really appreciate she's been very complimentary of how we've been doing and that I picked up the nuances. But I think a big part of that was when I'd feel kind of guilty that I wasn't doing what I wanted, like as much as I wanted to be do with, doing with So Happy to Learn, I would um, read or like try to watch the videos. And so little by little, and I followed along on the group somewhat. Um, and it wasn't until 
like basically the end of the year that I saw that she was doing a workshop and putting more focus on like newer, um, you know, kids who hadn't started reading or maybe weren't talking that much yet. And I was like, Ooh, this is my chance. I really want to jump in. So I was able to jump in at that time, but I had done a lot of the work to understand the methodology and the um, the, the biggest things were the errorless learning and the teach not test. And I was familiar with those from some other reading about Down syndrome learning profiles and what works well for them. Um, so those were two key things. And then um, the other thing was I ordered the the starter box, the, the starter learning box that has the focus spray and the rocks. And the biggest thing, because I did do a few ha So Happy to Learn sessions like in the months prior, but I kept losing my stuff. So I'd be like, okay, here's the crayons and here's the book. But then I maybe didn't have all of the, the happy sheets that I wanted to have. So having that box just made me instantly super organized. So I kind of keep that in a special spot. It's easy to access, but as soon as I'm done, I clean everything up, put it back in the box and put it back on the shelf. That keeps my other kids from going in there and they don't take the supplies out. Um, I have a pair of scissors in there, just like making sure I have everything I need for a learning session in that box. And it's really nice and neat. So that's also helped us to um, get the success. So we are just finishing our first month of getting serious. And I'm blown away with how well Leo is responding. He's, he's already starting to read. Um, I see, I see a cow, I see pizza. He's reading other words and like, I didn't really expect that to happen quite so quickly. But the other thing that I'm seeing that I didn't really, um, anticipate or appreciate going into this was, I really was thinking that we were just going to be teaching him how to read, but we're having like this is this program is so much more holistic so it's like he's doing more coloring we're communicating through the drawings that we're doing together um I see how this is going to set the stage for him to be able to write and like the whole thing is like the best word to describe it is holistic and I didn't appreciate that when I signed up and now I'm like so glad that we're on this path um yeah so I hope you have the same same experience because it was something I think for all of us as moms we feel a little bit of guilt that oh I'm not doing enough but I think on the days when like we don't get a session in if I feel that way after everybody's in bed then I look at like okay what am I going to download for the next one or what video can I learn or I try to keep up um, oh and the other thing that I think that's been helping us is once I took it seriously like we're going to do this I started taking a quick video or I videotaped the whole session and then I go back and um, I'm not really like super, I'm not like an Instagram influencer or anything, but I just knew that was a place that I could put our journey. And so I boil it down to just a minute and 30 seconds from each of our sessions. And when I go through those videos, I pick up so many things that I would have lost if I, one, hadn't videotaped it, but two, by going back and kind of looking for those, um, like tidbits of like the best of the best, or also like maybe a struggle that we have. I'm reprocessing and I'm picking up things. And then when I'm sharing it, also other people are picking up things that they see, um, which has been helpful to me. And I didn't anticipate that either. So that's really good. And then also engaging with the Facebook group um, or you know the teaching group. For me, Facebook is just a lot easier and I need to keep it as simple as possible. So um, you know, asking the questions, not feeling embarrassed. And that felt really weird at first because I felt like either I was making it all about me, which is not what it's about, or, um, I don't know, something about it felt awkward. But once I started doing it, I was like, okay, this is really where we're like getting some traction. And, um, I feel like, you know, we're getting a lot of help from either the more experienced moms and definitely from Mrs. Brown because she can see what we're doing at home. So I hope that helps you too.